Okay, so what we did was we started off the day with some squats. We were doing sets of 10 reps with a rest pause and then uh, reps to a failure. So the pause was 15 seconds. I was doing mine at 60 kilos. And um, watching this back, I didn't realize, it seems when I complete my squat, I'm getting the right depth and whatever, but as I come up, I tilt my back slightly forward. So, I'm going to have to work on that for next time because... Okay, so you can totally see here what I mean about the clips, like they, they absolutely suck. Like, okay, I chuck the five on and then you see me put the clip on and they all do this. It's where people have like dropped them or stood on them or dropped a weight on them. They just don't open and close. The springs aren't in a straight line. So like, that was my reason for ordering up the, uh, the different locks, which you'll see. So Ellis is doing, 10 kilos heavier total, but he's doing a high bar and he's not getting um, full depth. But um, we didn't actually really watch the videos while we we're at the gym, so I'll show the ones to him so he can adjust that for next time because they're sort of half squats. So maybe drop the weight and we'll change the uh, change the depth and make sure he gets that right. So I had to grab some Sour Patch Kids from home before I went to the gym, just I was, it wasn't like a dextrose thing, it wasn't anything fitness wise, it was literally, I had no energy, pre-workout wasn't great, so I needed some sort of a pick me up, sugar rush to carry me on. And then we uh, moved on to the single leg press, and this is a seriously hard exercise. I don't know how some people do it with so much weight. It's um, especially for me with my knee injury, because the left knee, uh, left leg, sorry, I can push the reps out pretty decent. As soon as I go to the right knee, it um, it really starts to play. So I really have to make sure I have to wear my knee strap when I do it, and that really gives me the best support. But I felt like if I leaned forward, I could have more like security on how I was pushing just for my comfort but watching the videos back now I kind of see that I'm not getting the full range of motion because I'm coming to my chest because I brought my chest forward by half of the, of the distance I've sort of shortened my reps so I'll change that next time So we had to go with the um, hamstring Romanian deadlifts and they're like, I've always done them with a, with a standard bar and I've never liked them because it hurts my knees and I could never get the right feel. I've always felt more of a, a back activation and some quads and glutes but I never felt the hamstrings too much. Then I saw, I think it was um, A-Train on Instagram did a video of doing them like this uh, with the Smith machine using the... Uh, 
the step underneath it. So I did them using that and the, the difference is un insane. Like you can really just lock your body and just target that muscle and you haven't got to worry about the far movement or anything like that. You just really target them so good. And after that went for some, um, just like some accessory movements. We did uh, the land hamstring curl and my hamstrings were dead by the time we got to do this. So it was just like absolutely exhausting. Just, you can see like I was almost kicking it up and just trying to like catch it on the way down and control whatever I could. But it was what it was. Yeah, I was just, end of a leg day kind of kills you off. And then we finished, I don't think I actually videoed it. I think we actually finished with leg extensions. So they were just not the best. <laughs> they were so hard. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave the rest of it to the uh, vlog and stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. So do you know what I miss the most about America? I miss the sun. Like, look, it's just rainy and drizzly and horrible, as it usually is in England. Man, we just killed legs, like, that hurts. And uh, my calories are down every day, and today they suck too. It's like, I'm, I'm, it's because you don't eat as much on Tuesdays because of the way work schedule works out. Like, we work, at, you get work at 7, tea break at 10, and you won't eat again till 2, which is the end of the day, but because I'm going to the gym, I have like a pre workout snack at 1.30, have pre workout at 2, finish trade, have protein shake, and I won't eat till I get home. So, like, right about now, it is. Dun 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 dun, to my ignition on. 4.30. So, it's pretty, pretty hungry. And I had to walk around Tesco and do a quick shop, which is down there. Now, Tesco do like a price promise. They'll give you about the money that you don't spend, like of your next shop. And their tagline is every little helps. So, I just find it there is that. I don't know if that's going to be reversed or not. Probably is one p off my next shop, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hold of that piece of paper and use that next time. I think the paper probably costs more than one p to print. So I have one in here from the other day. Actually, I, I've so many, I spend my life buying groceries and like crap because I'm gonna eat a lot of food though, right? Where is it? Damn it! I lost it. I went in there, it was like £4.70 off the next shop, and I thought, oh, I'll keep hold of that. So I threw that one away, apparently. Damn it. But I'm, I've, I've got to go home and make myself some food, because I'm starving and hungry. My parents are away now for two weeks, so that means I'm living on my own for two weeks, which means I've got to try and look after myself for two weeks. And I almost was late for work, so I almost slept in. Um, so that's a good start. Now we'll try and cook dinner. Do all that fancy shaboodle. Whoa, I thought I was in gear then. I just started my van, I would jump forward. By the way, Americans, we have geared vehicles. Dun, dun, dun. Only everyone in America has got a fake car, like fake. No, wait. Everyone in America has got, like, auto cars. And also, a lot of people, especially in Dallas, had Mustangs and Camaros and Supras and Lamborghinis. I don't know if they had Lamborghinis. The other one's true. No Lamborghinis, I don't think. But they're all autos, and it's like you cannot have an American auto muscle car. Or like a super, like a sports car. You can you cannot, that does not work. You can't, and you hear them start up, you like see them and think, oh, nice Camaro. They put their keys in, it's like, that's not, that's not a muscle car. That was my car impression, by the way. That was like a, like a standard petrol or diesel starting up, like, that's how I think they sound. Muscle cars just scare you when they start up. But these didn't. And I'm just like... See, I just do this. I kind of sit in Tesco car park, phone facing me. Talk to you guys. I should bring my camera out. I keep forgetting it because I haven't got back to it yet. But I'll film my camera in a bit so you'll see it later. I'll do my, I'll, I'll video like all my dinner. I'll do a... You, you already heard it, but I'll do a voiceover for the... Uh, well, the leg session because I've never done that before, so I'm trying to work out where to do it. Which I think the best way is going to be is to talk to you guys through this, put this video at the top of the video, cut out the audio, and then lay it. I think I don't do much with editing, as you can probably tell from my videos. I kind of just slam them together and put them up. So 
but um, not overly polished. I've got some cool stuff coming in the post, I'm collecting tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm actually doing a leg training session with a girl I know called Stacy at the gym. Um, so I will be doing a song. A song? I think I say the name Stacy and I instantly think of Stacy's mum. By the song by Fountain of Wayne. So I feel like we're gonna do a, I'll probably do a video tomorrow, so that'd be pretty cool, something different. We do I did legs today, she wants to do legs tomorrow, so I'm gonna be uh gonna be crawling out of that gym, so I'm bringing a Sapatch kids though. So right, I'm heading home to get some food and I'm gonna do a video. More video with my DSLR. I'll probably cry because my legs hurt so bad. See you in a bit. And have a good day. If you're watching this now, have a good day. If you're watching it at night, hope you had a good day. Have a good day tomorrow. If you're having a bad day, have a good day. Because I told you to. And cheer up and be happy. That's all. See you in a bit. It's raining so much. I don't want to go inside because I'm going to get it wet walking in there. So I've been in my van for 14 minutes trying to wait out the rain and it seems to just continue. I don't know if you can even hear it. I'm probably just sitting here with no noise. But well, my van's steamed up. That's like... I don't know. Did you see it? I don't know. But it sucks. So I'm just sitting here like Snapchatting people and Instagram and I could waste an hour on Instagram easy just flicking through stuff. Snapchat. If you want to add me on Snapchat, my Snapchat is BFS Mad. BFSMAD. My Snapchat literally all the freaking time. I love it. And um I have it set so everyone can see my snaps. And everyone can send me snaps. So if you want to send me one and say hello, do that. And then I, while I'm sitting here doing nothing, might as well plug my Instagram. So same as this, it is at fitnesskidchris. I'm not going to spell that one out for you, because if you can't spell it, probably shouldn't be allowed to use YouTube. Oh, I just want to go inside, I need to pee, but it's raining. <laughs> I feel like I'm such a child. Like the, the, the deal is the door's not open. So I've got to get there with three bags, my gym bag, my lunchbox. And my gallon of water. Then try and get my keys out, which I have to drop put stuff on the floor for. Open the door and then get in. Hmm. I think I have to make a go for so, it. So, another thing I've found is... Oh, top of my head. Like, time to vlog. Check out my hair. Um, ignore my hair. I hate my hair at the moment. I don't want to do with it. I might get the mohawk back, so... Anyway, I found that after leg day. I did it again, jeez. Then after leg day, these knee wraps, they get pretty sweaty. They sound smell, they just actually smell quite new. But the best way I've found to wash them is literally a bowl of hot water, stick it in, dick them in, like submerge them, and they'll sit to the bottom like more water needed. More water if required. And then literally leave them like that for like a minute. Do that a few times. And then leave them on a radiator or in a hot cupboard for like half hour that we dry. And um, that actually keeps them smelling pretty decent. And it also helps them not wear as bad. There's a lot of salt in your sweat and that would mess up with your colouring actually. The durability of the stuff like that. So if you look after them, they last a long time. They would last a long time, but I got these ones from Strength Shop at, um, at Body Power. So I can't look after them, they're like £35, which compared to the Ray-Ban, Ray-Ban, I always pronounce it Ray-Ban, I don't think it is, they're blue ones. <laughs> Excuse me, the Ray-Ban ones. They're like £60 a leg, so I bought these ones, they seem really good and they work really well for me, so... Yeah, look after your gym stuff, people. Especially if you have rider wear shoes, I clean those. Obsessive with those. But chicken nuggets are cooking and I'm so hungry. So these 
little chicken nuggets I got. Um, because I'm having my own, I can't bother to do like a huge amount of cooking. The macro is actually pretty good for chicken nuggets, let's be honest. Uh, 100 grams is 9.8 fat, 1.4 saturated, 17 carb, 1.4 fiber, 20 grams protein. So, I mean, 10 grams of fat, obviously that's not great, but what it is, for chicken nuggets, let's, let's be honest, you know, who does not like chicken nuggets? Um, I weigh everything out I eat, um, because I like to. Okay, so, these aren't the biggest chicken nuggets in the world, so I'm having 300 grams, 306, I'm not going to cut an inch off a chicken nugget, let's be honest. Um... That's not a lot of food, so I'm gonna have that with a bowl of rice. Um, it's 300, what we're looking at. So 60, yeah, 60 protein, 52 carbs, and 27 fat. So it's, it's pretty high fat, but I've had really low fat today, so fits in, and they're gonna be goddamn tasty. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this out there. The uh, the best condiment in the whole goddamn world is mustard. Like, it's better than ketchup. It's better than barbecue sauce. And... 3.9 protein, 5.1 carb. 100 grams. No one has 100 grams in one guy, let's be honest. That's 400... That's a quarter of that bottle. No one has it in a serving. So, that is now my lunch. Or, well, it's 6 o'clock. That is now my dinner. And I'll have a late night snack, but... 300 grams chicken nuggets, 100 grams Uncle Ben's rice, a goddamn crap load of mustard, cup of tea, water, Facebook, and I'm thinking, because here's the deal, I posted that to you on Instagram the other day, I'm trying to play catch up right back now, and I'm a big Max Tuning fan, more than any other YouTuber really, so, <laughs> since I was away, I'm, I'm going to try and catch up, I'm on the next chapter, which was a month ago, and he posts quite a lot of videos, so I've got, it's like 15 minutes, 11, 20, 13, 12. Oh, a few hours of max tunes to get myself through, so go for this one. Keep them in order. But he's an awesome YouTuber, check him out. There he is down there. And I'm going to crush this down, going to get on with my day. Catch you guys so what's going to happen is, I kind of thought I was going to have an early night and have a lazy night, but... um. My best friend's kind of sad, she had a bit of a bad weekend and she's not doing too good, so we're going to hang out, I'm going to drive, go see her, she's like about an hour away, sort of time, I think I'm going to go bowling, which should be fun, because she beat me twice last time, so I need to try and get something back, and um, got my uh, Iron Fist shirt on with the pocket, which I kind of love, I don't care if it's raining, I'm still going to be wearing shorts, I always wear shorts, and then my blue shoes, which I kind of love. But, um, oh, my bonnet suit hoodie. You can't actually, I'm oh, it back to front. I was going to show you. Actually, if I reverse this into a mirror, you'll be able to read it. So, oh, man. We came, we saw, we drank your beer. Um, so, I'll get some footage when we're bowling. That'd be good fun. We can go cheer her up. Get her on the YouTube, so that'll make her happy. And, um, yes, that is a picture of a cow. Cows. I took it. My photography. If you want to buy one, let me know. Um, you can get it on a mug, too, if you'd like. So, I'm going to drive over there, and I'm going to do some video while I'm there, too. Uh, I'll just have a late night, but I'm training tomorrow at, like, 2 o'clock with Stacey, so it's cool. So, I'm nice laying. And, um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys when I get to bowling and get my funky shoes on. You left one. I left it like with nine instead of eight. <laughs> okay. If I bulk it on this one, I'll leave it in the video.
arms. <laughs> Exhausted right about now. I uh, just got in. My eye which went red. Um, from a long drive. Well, not a long drive. Our long drive. UK, that's a long drive. Um, I've been bowling. Went to a pub, watched some live music, which you just saw. That was one of the guys. A very cool guitarist guy. Uh, it's just an open mic, so people just come up and play and stuff, and then wander off again. So that was pretty cool. I'm so tired, and my legs are kind of absolutely killing, but they're kind of flexing up pretty good. I'm quite, quite happy at the moment. But, uh, a lot of things I need to work on. Main thing is chest. It's like it bugs me so bad. Like my chest strength just sucks. Like. Uh, all right, more size all around. I need to eat more, and you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna wrap it up quite pretty short today. I'm gonna do the commentary um tomorrow. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been kind of a different one this time. So I'd like to do more full day videos like this. I thought it was pretty cool, but mainly with DSLR. But I, I've lent my sister the charger for it, so I've got to try and charge it via my Mac. So I'll see how that goes. So, see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoy it, and share, and subscribe, and like, and all this sort of fancy stuff like you've been doing for ages, and I love you guys, and I will see you soon. See you later.